Top 10 Richest Men Around the World They live in wealth, they live in luxury and opulence, they own businesses, they are worth billions of dollars, they have elegance and class, and they possess the industrious shark mentality. In the spirit of unequal distribution, here's a list of some of the richest men around the world in 2023 counting down from number 10. In 10th position, we have Africa's industrialist, Aliko Dangote. Aliko Dangote is a 66-year-old Nigerian businessman and industrialist, best known as the founder, chairman, and CEO of the Dangote Group, which is the largest conglomerate in West Africa. The Dangote Group owns flour, rice, cement, sugar, and salt factories to produce imported goods such as cement, sugar, salt, and flour. This was done in an effort to help his country import less of what it eats. Dango Cement is the group's most important baby as it is the source of his wealth, and it's also Africa's leading cement producer with operations across 10 African countries. With a $3.5 billion revenue surplus in 2022, Dango T Cement has a production capacity of up to 51.6 million tons per annum. Known as the richest black man in the world, Dango T started building his business empire shortly after borrowing $3,000 from his uncle to import and sell commodities in Nigeria. The business was a success, and he repaid the entire loan within three months of operations. As a result, he turned local commodities trading into a multi-billion dollar corporation, which is one of the largest employers in the Nigerian and African private sector. He is an outstanding philanthropist. Dangot founded his private charitable foundation in 1994, known as the Aliko Dangote Foundation ADF, which is dedicated to adding value to people's lives across Africa by supporting health, education, and economic empowerment initiatives. Now, the foundation is the largest private foundation in sub-Saharan Africa. The Aliko Dangote Foundation began partnering with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in 2013 to eradicate polio and strengthen routine immunizations. Thanks to this collaboration, the African continent celebrated its official certification as polio-free in August 2020. Dango doesn't grant a lot of interviews, but in one of his interviews, the investor once said, invest now before it's too late. The train is about to leave the station, encouraging people to take a chance on investment in Africa. He spends his money on major investments in real estate, banking, transport, textiles, oil and gas, and telecommunications. He just built an $18.5 billion oil refinery in Nigeria known as the Dangote Refinery. When in full operation, the refinery is expected to have the capacity to process about 650,000 barrels per day of crude oil, making it the largest single train refinery in the world. If successful, it could significantly reduce Nigeria's reliance on international suppliers for oil and gas and end the $7 billion fuel import per year. When it comes to luxury, Dengode has said I enjoy myself a lot, but I derive more joy in working. He reportedly owns two jets, a $43 million yacht, a $30 million mansion in Nigeria's capital Abuja, and is known for his love for luxury vehicles. Despite all these, Dango T has always said he does not have time for luxuries, as they always tend to be a distraction. Dango T has been married twice with three daughters named Halima, Maria, and Fatima, and an adopted son named Abdul Rahman. Halima followed him into the business world and is currently his company's executive director of commercial operations. Eliko Dangote has been named richest man in Africa for the 12th time in a row and with an estimated net worth of around $10.5 billion. He is presently still the richest man in Africa with all due respect. In ninth position, we have India's richest man, Nukesh Ambani. Known as the only billionaire who gave out free internet connection to its users in India, Mukesh Dairubhai Ambani is an Indian billionaire 
businessman, owner, chairman, and managing director of Reliance Industries, which is India's most valuable company by market value. Reliance Industries is an Indian conglomerate with businesses which include energy, petrochemicals, natural gas, retail telecommunications, mass media, and textiles. Ambani started building Geo Platforms, a subsidiary of Reliance Industries in late 2010, known for telecommunications and e-commerce. In 2016, Geo offered the first nationwide Forg network kickstarting with free internet connection and calls for its users for a duration of seven months. When Ambani finally started charging his customers for internet connection, the cheapest plan was $2. This was a business idea to gain more users and be the outright best and fastest network in India. Ambani has an educational background in chemical engineering and business administration, after which he joined the family business in 1981, where he worked tirelessly to diversify the company, venturing into businesses like communications, infrastructure, petrochemicals, petroleum refining, polyester fibers, and oil and gas production. Following his father's death in 2002, Ambani and his brother Anil assumed joint leadership of Reliance companies. However, their mother split Reliance assets through a non-competition agreement because of Anil's feud to take control of the company. This agreement gave Ambani control of the oil, gas, and petrochemicals units, and he has been credited with creating the world's largest startup petroleum refinery. How does Ambani spend his money? He used this wealth to build his private residence Antilia in Mumbai. India, where he lives with his wife Nita Ambani and their three children. Antalya is the second most expensive home in the world known to be the most valuable property after Buckingham Palace. With a sea view, the residence has nine elevators, three helipads, 27 floors with the first six floors being garages for his luxurious cars and 600 full-time employees. With an estimated net worth of $94.5 billion, he is the richest person in Asia. In the eighth position, we have Mexico's business magnate, Carlos Slim. The richest man in Mexico got his wealth as a stockbroker. He laid his company's foundation with profits he got from brokering, starting the Carso Group conglomerate. Grupo Carso is a conglomerate that operates in the retail, energy, industrial infrastructure, manufacturing, and construction sectors. Mexico may not be one of the richest countries in the world, but it can boast of one of the richest men in the world. Carlos Slimalu was born in Mexico City. Though he is of Lebanese origin, he put everything his father taught him about business and finance into practice after losing his dad at the young age of 13. He made his first stock purchase in a Mexican bank when he was a teenager, and by the age of 15, he was a shareholder in the country's largest bank. It will amaze you to know that Slim did not study anything finance related. Rather, he has a background in economics and civil engineering. He combined this knowledge to everything he learned from his dad, and now he has an edge in the business world. Carlos saved $400,000 in profit when he worked as a stock trader, which got him his own brokerage business and laid the financial groundwork for Grupo Carso. In 1990, the investor bought Mexico's only telecommunications operator and phone company, Telmex, for $1.8 billion from the Mexican government. Telmex, now America Moveal, has more than 50,000 employees, being a company where a large portion of his net worth comes from. When foreign investors bailed out from Mexico in 1982 because of the country's troubled economy, Carlos took a chance on his country and invested in building a huge industrial empire, Grupo Carso. Carlos spends his money investing in real estate, oil and gas, planes and automobiles. He owns a mining company, a museum, he has stakes in the music industry, and he is a renowned philanthropist. He has invested in over 50 companies while he owns approximately 12 companies. The business magnate backed the construction of Plaza Carso. Plaza Carso is a real estate complex with shopping malls, residential areas, and has one of the headquarters of the Sumaya Museum with more than 60,000 pieces of art. With a net worth of $98.3 billion, the 83-year-old business tycoon was ranked richest person in the world by Forbes Business Magazine from 2010, 2013. In seventh position, we have Google's prolific Larry Page. Pretty sure everyone knows who he is and how he made his fortune. If you don't know who he is, you know what he's built and probably use his products every day. 
Lawrence Edward Page is an American computer scientist and internet entrepreneur best known as Google's co-founder. Google is the world's largest and dominant search engine operator accounting for more than 92% of global search requests. Born and raised by two computer science professors, he was destined for groundbreaking work in the technology industry and with an educational background in computer science, he founded Google with Sergey Brin. The 50-year-old business magnate also owns companies like YouTube, a video, sharing platform, Motorola Mobility, a telephone company, Calico, a research and development company, Waymo, an autonomous driving technology company, Fitbit, a health and fitness technology brand, amongst others. Page is married to Lucinda Southworth and with two children. They live in Michigan. With a combined net worth of $110 billion, he has bought four private islands, Coming up in sixth position, we have Microsoft's founder, Bill Gates. The 67-year-old Microsoft founder got his fortune from the strength of his company's success, where he amassed wealth from being the company's largest individual shareholder. William Henry Gates is an American business magnate, investor and philanthropist best known for co-founding the software giant Microsoft with his late childhood friend, Paul Allen. Microsoft is the largest software company in the world having the Windows line of operating systems. With a net worth of $117.2 billion, he spends his money on collecting expensive objects like a $30 million Leonardo da Vinci manuscript and has a large art collection. The business tycoon is also the largest private farmland owner in the United States, where he has been under surveillance for hoarding properties almost as big as Hong Kong. Bill Gates is also the founder of the Giving Pledge Initiative, which is a commitment to philanthropy by the world's wealthiest individuals to donate at least the majority of their wealth to charity. As a man who practices what he preaches, he has donated $89 billion to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, a foundation he co-chairs with his ex-wife Melinda Gates. He's been greatly associated with the quest to eradicate malaria, which is being carried out by different organizations and research groups under the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. In fifth position, we have the Oracle from Omaha, Warren Buffett. He is one of the most successful and prolific investors the world has ever seen building his fortune by acquiring undervalued companies and giving them light. Warren Edward Buffett is the owner Chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, which was originally a textile company, but moved to the financial sector owning more than 60 companies. The investor has stakes in a wide range of companies, including Apple, Duracell, American Express, and Coca-Cola. Although he has a net worth of $118.7 billion, he is known for being a frugal billionaire who lives a very moderate lifestyle. Married twice with three children and two grandchildren, the 92-year-old philanthropist has donated over $40 million to charities and pledged in 2010 to donate 99% of his assets to philanthropy, either in his lifetime or at his death, yet he still sits pretty on the list of the world's richest. Controversy sparked this announcement as people thought the prolific investor would leave his fortune for his offspring. Number 4. We have the Oracle of Silicon Valley, Larry Ellison. With a fortune valued at $144.6 billion, Lawrence Joseph Ellison is the co-founder, executive chairman, and chief technology officer of Oracle Corporation. Oracle was the third largest software company in the world by revenue and market capitalization. It specializes in database management and business programs, which all started when he was commissioned by the Central Intelligence Agency, CA, to build a database. This database eventually ended up being his crown jewel product Oracle, big enough to compete with Microsoft. His company's technology has become the backbone of the world's information systems, from government to online commerce. With a 35% share of the software company and all his billions combined, Ellison lives the luxurious life. The investor bought almost the entire Hawaiian island of Lanai for $300 million, he owns and drives expensive cars like McLaren Phone priced at $20.5 million as well as luxury planes and yachts with a fleet worth $1 billion. He also sits pretty on Tesla's board after purchasing $3 million in Tesla's shares. The 78-year-old has been married four times with two children. 
He is a sports fan who loves tennis, which led him to acquire the Indian Wells tournament for $100 million. Is there anything money can't buy? In third position, we have Amazon's Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos is an American entrepreneur and founder of Amazon. Amazon is the world's largest online retailer operating in more than 200 countries with a market capital of $1.266 trillion. He was, however, in the spotlight a lot during his divorce in 2019 because the divorce was deemed one of the most expensive divorces in history. As alimony, Bezos transferred 4% of his Amazon shares, which was equivalent to $19.5 billion to his ex-wife Mackenzie Scott. This divorce cost him a fortune and affected his status as one of the world's richest men. He, however, regained his status when the stock price of Amazon shares rose because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic hindered people from going out, and as such, they resulted in online shopping. Now, Bezos has a net worth of $168.7 billion, making him the world's third richest man. Mr. Bezos also owns The Washington Post a daily newspaper and Blue Origin, which is an aerospace company that develops rockets. Being a commercial astronaut, he flew into space with a rocket from his Blue Origin company alongside his brother, Mark Bezos, Wally Funk, an aviator and Oliver Demon, an 18-year-old fresh out of high school in 2021. This was the first time his Blue Origin company flew its rocket with people on board. The entrepreneur plans to give away the majority of his net worth, he told Scene in an exclusive interview that he will devote the bulk of his wealth to fighting climate change and supporting people who can unify humanity in the face of deep social and political divisions. In second position, we have Monsieur Bernard Arnault, the elegant French investor. When we talk of pure elegance, we talk of Bernard Jean Etienne Arnault. Mr. Arnault is a French business magnate, investor, and art collector. He is the chairman and CEO of the French luxury conglomerate LVMH, Moet Hennessy, Louis Vuitton, three companies combined in one, which is the largest luxury product company in the world. Born on March 5, 1949, Arnault graduated from the Polytechnic University in Paris with a degree in engineering. In 1971, he took control of his father's construction firm, Ferret, Savinel, and eight years later, he changed the company's name to Farinel Inks, shifting its focus to real estate. With $15 million of his own money, Arnault, together with Antoine Bernheim, a managing partner of the French bank Lazard Freres & Co., raised the $80 million necessary to purchase Beausac Saint Freres, a bankrupt textile company that owned the fashion house of Christian Dior. Later in 1987, Arnault was invited to invest in Ulvamage by the company's chairman, Henri Racamier. He invested through a joint venture with Guinness Plea C, after which Arnault took over and ousted Racamier in 1990. This is when Mr. Arnault started a line of fashion companies into the LVH fold. Arnault has built his fortune over the span of four decades by amassing a luxury goods empire that includes some of the best-known names in fashion, jewelry, and alcohol, including the Italian company Fendi, the iconic French department store La Samaritaine, Italian jewelry brand Bulgari, Givenchy, Sephora, Dom Perignon, and the classic American jeweler Tiffin Company. Tiffany & Co. was acquired for $16.2 billion in 2020, being the largest ever acquisition in the luxury goods industry, solidifying Arnold's position as one of the world's most powerful and influential businessmen. The 74-year-old is also responsible for alcoholic beverages like Hennessy, Dom Perignon, and Moet Champagne, which are considered luxury beverages only for special occasions. Currently, with a net worth of $191 billion, he is the world's second richest man and has used his enormous wealth to get some of the most expensive things money can buy. How does the French business magnate spend his money? I will tell you how. He invested in Netflix, purchased a luxury Dutch yacht, a Dassault Falcon Sevinx jet, which reportedly cost him $40 million. He also owns a 135-acre private island in the Bahamas and flies around the world in style in his private jet. The LMH boss is married with five children, Delphine, Antoine, Alexandra, Frederick, and Jean Arnault. 
All five of the Arnault children hold key management roles in different company brands. Delphine Arnault, for example, recently became chairman and CEO of the fashion label Christian Dior Couture in February. She was previously executive vice president of Louis Vuitton, in charge of products. He has reportedly spent around $96 million on residential properties in the United States in lush neighborhoods of Beverly Hills, Trousdale Estates, and Hollywood Hills. However, it is his chateau-style waterfront mansion in Saint-Tropez, France, that we are interested in as it truly symbolizes his stature as one of the richest people in the world. The huge property has a theater, an outdoor swimming pool, a tennis court, and multiple bedrooms alongside separate quarters for staff. Mr. Arnault is also famous for his art collection. He has masterpieces from the likes of Andy Warhol, Jean-Michel Basquiat, Damien Hirst, Pablo Picasso, and others in his Paris home worth millions of dollars. He is the richest person in France, the richest person in Europe, and the richest person in fashion. In 2007, Arnault was named Commander of the Legion of Honor, one of France's highest distinctions. And our top spot goes to, drumroll please, Elon Musk, the richest man in the world. He is a South African-born, Canadian-American business magnate and investor. He is the founder, CEO, and chief engineer of SpaceX, an American spacecraft manufacturer and satellite communications company with the goal of reducing space transportation costs and to colonize Mars. He is the CEO and product architect of Tesla, a multinational automotive and energy company that designs and manufactures electric vehicles. He is also the chief technology officer and chairman of Twitter, a social media company, co-founder of Neuralink, a neurotechnology company developing implantable brains and president of the philanthropic Musk Foundation, let's take a look at how the 51-year-old serial entrepreneur has kept the public captivated with his business tricks. Born in South Africa, Elon started showing entrepreneurship skills early as he went hawking with his brother and developed his first computer game blaster at the age of 12 selling it for $500. He had a difficult childhood affected by his parents' divorce, bullying at school and Asperger's syndrome, which is having difficulty in interacting socially. Elon moved to Canada where he attended the Queen's University in Ontario and later moved to the United States where he studied physics and economics at an Ivy League university. He founded two technology startup companies in the 90s, which included a web software firm and an online banking company that eventually became PayPal sold to eBay in 2002 for $1.5 billion. Musk then invested his fortune into his SpaceX and his electric car company Tesla. He has been described as a man who doesn't take no for an answer, a confrontational no, it all with an abundant ego, a man who leads by instinct. I'm never hugely convinced that he knows what he wants to do tomorrow, said a journalist called Chris Stokel Walker. He very much leads by instinct. Mr. Musk is Twitter's biggest troll known for his petty fights on social media, not forgetting the good number of lawsuits he and his companies have faced from his investors. In a TED interview, he said, if you list my sins, I sound like the worst person on earth. But if you put those against the things I've done right, it makes much more sense. Reputed for his controversies and outspokenness, it certainly has not stopped him from getting richer since that seems to be his appeal. With a net worth of $247.9 billion, Elon Musk is the richest man on the face of the earth. It's a video full of money. Who is your favorite billionaire on the list and why? It's probably Elon Musk. If you like the video, please subscribe, like and share it. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so you don't miss our next video. See you soon on Mazel Media. Information at the heart of the world.